Okay, let's get started. Um, this is Ron, and I wanted to make this landscape uh, painting available for the beginner or even the intermediate uh, painter. And um, I would recommend, highly recommend that you download the book from my website, ronturnerfineart.com. And there's step by step, it gives all the paints that I use, the different brushes. Mostly I just use a one inch brush here, a flat brush, and then um, a fan brush, and a detailed, small detail brush. That's about all that I use to do this entire painting. So uh, please take a watch, and um, I'll narrate a little as I go, but hope you enjoy it. I always spray a little bit of thinner on my canvas just so I'm not painting on a dry canvas and it helps the paint kind of blend together better. So I start out with the bottom part of the sky, go about halfway up the canvas and start working my way up with sort of a base for the sky. I'll Typically I'll paint blue all the way up, maybe blend in a little bit of white for clouds. Uh, you'll see as we go here. Right now I'm using a, a light blue. It's just a mixture of um, a cobalt blue with, with some white mixed in. Once in a while I'll add a little bit more paint thinner on the canvas just so it doesn't get too dry. Depends on the paint and what you're painting as to how much of the thinner you spray on and how you want your paints to kind of blend together. Just keep applying uh, horizontal strokes, brush side to side and try to just go all the way across and not leave brush marks in the middle of your canvas and just paint all the way up until you're done with the sky and it's all blue and then we'll mix in some white for clouds Okay, now I'm adding a little bit of uh, just straight cobalt blue just to kind of give some nice streaking across the sky so it's not all one solid color. As long as your paint is all wet and you're painting wet on wet, you kind of blend it together that way. If you let it dry, then you have to take a whole different approach. So this painting you can do in hour maybe two hours tops um, some of this video is sped up a little bit just so it's not drug out so long but you can still see all the details as we go along now I'm cutting in some mountains and just again using the same brush a one inch flat brush and just using the black paint as a base and then we'll we'll streak it up a little bit you're not going to see a lot of these mountains when we get down with the trees anyway, but you still want them to look nice and look like the sun's kind of reflecting off by blending in some uh, lighter gray with it, as you'll see. As you get down to the base of the mountains, you want to 
start painting horizontal back and forth again. I use the edge of the brush. See how you add a little white into the black, it turns gray, and then it makes it um, look like reflections in the sun shining off the mountains. Just keep blending until it looks right. Your painting is not going to look exactly like mine, and if I did another one like this, it wouldn't look exactly the same either. So as long as you come out with a nice painting the way you like it, the colors can be different, and the shades can be a little different. Now I'm adding some lighter gray just to add depth to the painting so you can as you get closer the colors get more vivid the further away you are they are less vivid this gives you depth in your painting Next we'll just come on down and uh, use a little lighter color if, and just to give our background some base. You're not really going to see this hardly at all. makes it easier to have kind of a base gray color or a light green depends on what the painting is all the way down to the bottom just to give yourself some uh, backing to paint on now we'll start the uh, tree wherever you want to put the tree but just so it looks good I always start by uh, kind of putting my trees at different distances away and then starting from the back with the foliage you'll see that I'll um, start with the back tree and work forward and we'll use my um, fan brush mostly. Now I am using here a mop brush that's worn down. I do use a lot of paint brushes that get kind of worn down and they work out good for certain things like these trees as you can see and it makes it go faster these are the trees and kind of the background trees a little further away So I'm kind of blending in some darker colors. Since these trees are going to be the ones in the background, but I do use some different shades of, of grays and blacks and dark greens to give it some depth.
right now it's mostly just black but when it hits the canvas that's already wet it, it kind of gives it to two-tone look three-tone look The colors that I'm using here is a uh, viridian blue hue. It's like a dark, dark green and white. And sped it up. Uh, sped up the uh, video a little bit here. It's just the same thing over and over. Now I'm using a lighter. I mix the the viridian with some white and gives me some little dark and light colors to give the tree some depth you just keep dabbing as long as you don't over dab you want to kind of see through the trees and like I said add some depth by some different colors So once once I dab the darker colors, and I kind of go back and um, dab a little light green here and there, it's, it'll make it look like the the sun shining on some of the leaves. Makes it look more real. I'm doing some trees that are a little further away. But we'll start the fun part in a little bit with all the pretty colors and the trees that are in the foreground. Okay, on this portion, I'm just taking my uh, little tiny detail brush, and and again, I'm not painting in reality this fast. It's sped up a little bit, but I'm adding uh, some little branches here and there just to kind of again add the trees, some depth to the trees. You can go in after the fact, after you've done your leaves, and and add to this, um, <clears throat> and then you might have to go back and dab some more leaves on the trees now I'm doing the uh, the shrubbery down in the front I wanted to add a little something down lower there and and add some uh, some pretty flowers on that at the end see how I'm adding some lighter green first I did the darker green just like the trees, you're adding uh, some depth to the shrubs. Okay, on these trees, um, after I do the 
bushes there. Um, I just I mix some yellow and white and uh, yellow with a little bit of black just to give me some different shades of yellows for the yellow trees and then I did brown and red okri on the other trees and just to, you know mix some different shades to kind of mix in again to give your trees some depth and I'm um, adding some more branches and then I'll go back and add some more foliage to the trees You just have to use uh, um, your brush. I use a, fr a fan brush here just to kind of highlight certain areas that you want it to give like light reflecting on and give depth to your trees. See how when you keep working the colors in, um, it turns out very bright and beautiful. As you can see here, kind of the finishing touch on the, the trees. Ok, 
Okay, now you can see that I've added, kind of done the same thing as the trees, just take the fan brush and the flowers that are closer, you make them a little bit larger and the ones further away, you just you dab a little bit lighter so they look smaller. Um, you don't have to do that too much on this these shrubs, but just a little bit to give it a little bit of distance and depth. So as we're finishing up here, I hope that this painting has helped you and uh, let me know. Send me a message here on YouTube or wherever you're watching it or send me an email off my website. And be sure to download the PDF manual that goes with this. It's totally free. You go to my website and uh, you'll see a web page there for where the video is and where the book is. And you can download it. and. And then you have the video right here. And this painting is available as well. And you'll see many other paintings on my web website at ronturnerfineart.com.